The development of diabetic nephropathy involves hypertension and hyperglycemia-induced changes in multiple pathways that contribute to morphological changes in the kidneys. The glomerulus is a globular-shaped structure composed of capillaries that are actively involved in the filtration of fluid from the blood to form urine. With diabetic nephropathy, early glomerular hemodynamic changes include hyperfiltration and hyperperfusion, which result in microalbuminuria. Increased afferent arteriole dilation due to a dysfunction in the vasoconstrictive autoregulatory response contributes to increased intraglomerular pressure, which is associated with greater mesangial cell matrix production. Expansion of the mesangial area, an early morphological change with diabetic nephropathy, is caused by greater extracellular matrix deposition and mesangial cell hypertrophy. This expansion is associated with a decreased glomerular filtration rate and a reduction in the surface area for filtration, which marks the beginning of renal failure. As this process continues, the glomerular basement membrane thickens, and this may eventually lead to glomerulosclerosis. All of these changes in glomerular hemodynamics cause stress and strain on the kidneys, which, if left untreated, may result in renal failure.